the devotee of divine mercy and the archdiocese of Jos gathered in their number to celebrate God's grace, compassion, and forgiveness on mankind. In a homely, the chief shepherd of Jos, most reverend Matthew Ishaya, I would call on members to have faith and trust in the Lord, emphasizing that since the mercy of God is greater than our sins, Christians must therefore learn to love and forgive at all times. All of us, no matter how great our sins are, He wants us to recognize that His mercy is greater than our sins. So that if we call upon Him with the trust, receive His mercy, and let it flow through us to others. Thus, all we come to share is joy. It is a message I call a message we can call to mind simply by remembering A, B, C. A stands as for mercy. God wants us to approach you in prayer constantly, repenting of our sins and asking you to pour this message out upon us and upon the whole world. Be the message. God wants us to receive this message and let it flow. Through us to others. He wants us to extend his love and forgiveness to others just as he does to us. See, completely trusting in Jesus. God wants us to do that the graces of his mercy are dependent upon our trust. The Divine Mercy Sunday celebration had blessings and veneration of the Divine Mercy image. Help us to recall to our minds the stream of blood and water that has God poured from the dear's heart to be for us a continuous font of mercy. Grant to all who invoke your mercy with this image before their eyes, the grace of true repentance pour out upon all of us who are brought into faith and trust the purifying healing and the sanctifying grace of grace ever emanating from it as a blessed star. Gaze upon us as we give from the cross. May your divine mercy triumph over all the power of evil. May all who penetrate the image never fail.
Thanksgiving and cutting of the cake. in every situation. 
Not when the going is bad, you will not trust Jesus. Then it means that you trust in his perfect plan for your life. You trust. When you cannot comprehend his divine will, you trust him when all feels lost in all situations. Then on the second day, we discussed about the mercy and justice of God. You know, we said that the mercy of God is not the absence of his justice. Mercy. What is mercy? I said that mercy suspends justice. Why justice is acting without mercy? You can imagine the two. Mercy suspends justice. Why justice is acting without mercy? When you, when you go home, read the book of Habakkuk, chapter 1, from verse 3 to 4, and you go and read chapter 6. You will hear what, when Habakkuk, what conversation between Habakkuk and our Lord. You will get to know what Habakkuk was challenging God at his mercy. Then in Psalm 143, verse 3, and Romans 3, 10, which says, My mercy does not want this, but justice demands. The chaplain, Divine Mercy Apostle, Reverend Father Godfrey Gopep, spoke on the significance of the Divine Mercy Sunday. But as members of the Divine Mercy, those who, as a way of devotion, have taken it upon themselves to spread the message of mercy everywhere. Every year in the Catholic Archdiocese of George, we deem it fit to go around the deaneries and the parishes. We choose one deanery every year, and the deanery also choose one parish every year to give us so that we will come together as an Archdiocese body to mark this day, to celebrate this day. The Josiah Diocesan Leader of Divine Mercy, Edmund Eze, and the Provincial President, Felix Amanchuku, and two others spoke to CTV News about Divine Mercy. I will thank God for bringing us together again for the Divine Mercy Sunday 2024. Um, today has been a wonderful day, and I want to also appreciate His Grace, the Archbishop of Joss, who always follow us and always give us His blessings wherever we go. We are very, very grateful to him as a father in the Archdiocese who has been carrying his children, all his flocks along by the grace. And we continue to pray for him, that God will continue to strengthen him, that God will continue to give him more grace so that he will continue to lead us in the right path. Today has been a wonderful day and we thank God for it. And I want to use the opportunity to wish all the members of the Divine Mercy Apostolate a happy feast day. And I'm praying that 2025 feast will be a better one will be a greater one than that of 2024. Province? Yes. Oh, honestly, we are growing. We are growing. I can hear you from the Aydaisian chaplain, even the Archbishop and the, the Aydaisian leader himself. We are really spreading. You know, we are really spreading. We make sure that this message gets to every nook and corner of this province and Nigeria and the world at large. We are growing, you know. We make sure we go for awareness campaign. We make sure we do the event. Most parishes, under this archdiocese and the province, every parish members venerated images. Yesterday, people go to confession. Please volunteer. Today, they venerated their images. You see, for the communion. No, honestly, we are really growing in numbers. It's not about making. It's by the mercy of God. That's why we are seeing the results. This day means a lot to us because today is a special day in the church, Roman Catholic Church, because Divine Mercy was given as a message to St. Maria Faustina, and a lot of things, the paths of Divine Mercy, we have the chaplet of Divine Mercy, we have three o'clock prayer, we have novena, we have feast day, we have work of mercy, and today is that feast day. This day, Divine Mercy Sunday, to me as an apostolate, seriously is a day of joy. 
is a day of joy because no matter what grudges, no matter the feelings I have in me, on this day, I do away with it. It's a day of joy. And why my joy is even completed is because this day, the mercy of God is upon the whole world. Quite okay, His mercy is there every time. But this day is dedicated especially for this mercy of God. So it's a day of joy, it's a day of happiness. And on this day, many people get to know about the mercy of God. Even those that don't even know anything pertaining the mercy of God, on this day, they get to know about it. And many priests that they don't even talk much on the mercy of God, on this day, is another day for them to talk much on the mercy of God. So it's a day of joy, peace, and happiness too.